Scorpio, this is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be your love reading, Scorpio, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a look at your energy, and we're going to take a look at their energy. And we're going to see how this connection fits together. What kind of feelings does this person have? Maybe that they're hidden down deep. You know, what is this person feeling about you? Where is this connection going? Okay, Pisces, we're going to use three different decks. We're going to use one deck for you, one deck for them, and one deck for the connection. So once we get into the tarot, you'll see that. First, we're going to pick up on your energy. Scorpio, for you, we have step out of your comfort zone and try something new. For them, we have surround yourself with your soul tribe. Okay, let's get some more energy. Pisces, not Pisces, no, Scorpio, more than Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. For you, what is your energy? Oh. Earth and ground. For them, clear, cancel, and release. Wow, two kind of energy clearing cards. You both may meditate you both may focus on some kind of health situation you may be very spiritual you know now nah, he wants to meow okay let's see for your energy Scorpio for your energy we have facade for their energy we have isolation wow you know what I'm gonna get two more for those because that's very interesting um, let's see we'll take one of these okay He's being so loud right now. I'm sorry. Um, for you, Scorpio, we have expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. For them, we have... You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Okay. You, this may be someone that you already know. Someone that you're already connected with. It may be someone that you're kind of separated with at, at this time. Like, with your energy, Scorpio, and you always have such intense energy. Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. This may be you releasing certain energies. And having the faith to release them and trust. Um, because I feel like there's a need for you to be grounded. A need for you maybe to walk in nature. To feel that kind of admiration of like nature and just the, the the dirt or grass underneath your toes you know to feel that because I feel like there's some things that you may not be aware of but I also feel like there's some kind of situation that you're kind of distorting in your mind Scorpio you're kind of thinking something 
is a certain way when it's really not. You may be overthinking in the situation. You may be like holding someone to a, a too high of a standard to even take a chance. But Spirit is letting you know to remember that only love is real. Um, these thoughts that you may have, that's the reason why those are facades. It may be an illusion. It may be all, you know, um, set standards that maybe someone isn't even able to accomplish, you know. Um, but Spirit is letting you know to have faith. You know, miracles will occur naturally. Just uh, focus on divine timing and let something grow naturally. Don't try to force a situation. Don't try to think a situation isn't really what it is. You know, now for your person, Scorpio, I feel like your person is around people. Um, they may have their soul tribe that they're surrounded by. Now, for some of you, I'm not going to lie. For some of you, this is someone else in your situation. This is a third party. This is someone else trying to take advantage of your kindness. Trying to take advantage of the situation. Um, and I feel like this person is trying to find a way out. Because I feel like they want to they wanna just release this energy, release this person out of their life. And I feel like they may be having a hard time. Maybe that's why we have this isolation. This person feels like, well, you know, if, if I can't have you, I'd rather be alone. You know? Because I feel like this person may have lost their interest with their third party. But there's something lingering underneath. Um, Spirit is letting you know something is lingering underneath. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. You know? Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. We're going to use one deck for you and one deck for them. Spirit, give me a message for Scorpio about their person. What is Scorpio's energy about this person? The sun. You know, this person makes you happy. This person makes you feel kind of childish, makes you feel kind of playful, kind of exhilarated. You know, they really bring joy to your life. And the Nine of Wands. I, I still feel like you're kind of holding up your guard. You're setting your boundaries with this person. Even though they bring you happiness, you kind of feel that facade. That facade is coming through, you know? The, and I, I feel like you're making it something that it's not. But, Scorpio... I'm going to tell you right now to use your intuition, not your ego. Use your intuition in the situation. Set healthy boundaries and be persistent. Okay, and we have okay the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So definitely this is a situation where you're willing to work at. You're willing to work at this love interest. You're willing to put in a lot of time and effort. This is something that you are really finding yourself enjoying about the, this person. I feel like this person does little things that, you know, make you smile. Bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Um, I feel like this person may have a really good sense of humor. You know, they may be really funny. They may be playing little jokes. That's why you're in this childish nature of the sun. You know, they make you feel playful. Okay. 
at the bottom we have the Queen of Cups. Wow. Yes. Yes. Scorpio, use your intuition. She's dipping her toes into the water. You know, the water represents her emotions. And you're kind of dipping your toes into your emotions like, like you're kind of scared to take the leap in. You know? Um, but you should focus and follow your intuition. Follow your heart, Scorpio. Okay, now we'll look at their energy. Now we'll look at their energy. Let's see. Okay, Spirit. Um, give me Scorpios. Give me some energy for their person. What are they feeling for Scorpio? What are they feeling for Scorpio? The Nine of Wands. I mean, excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the, the Five of Swords. Hmm. With the Nine of Pentacles, I really feel like this person thinks that you hold a lot of value. You hold a lot of, you know, independence. Um, this person cares about you very deeply with this Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is really viewing this as a new relationship. This also, this person may also be viewing this as um, you being the one. Wanting marriage, wanting a proposal, you know, really flowing love. Um... You bring this person a lot of joy as well. I feel like this person is willing to fight for you. This person is willing to battle for you. This person definitely feels like you're worth the effort. Yeah, the Two of Wands. Yeah, this person is focused on the future. With the Five of Swords and the Two of Wands, this person is waiting for the results that they're expecting. You know, they're, they're waiting for a choice to be made. But I feel like they're waiting for some sort of information. Hmm. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. They're, they're waiting for some sort of clarity, some sort of truth before they totally commit, before they totally give you their heart. They're waiting for some sort of situation. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. You know, with the Hierophant, um, the Hierophant is in, in between two pillars. It's the pillars of obedience and disobedience. But the Hierophant tells us that we really want to do the right thing. We really want to follow the right path. We really want to go in the right direction. So I, I feel like that's what this person is saying. That, you know, they're kind of caught in between. But they really want to do the right thing. They really want to do right by you. Scorpio. The Hierophant can also mean marriage in a spread. 
especially with it being so close to the the two of cups and the ace of cups but I feel like this person thinks that you're very very valuable this person thinks that you have hidden talents and they're willing to work hard. They're willing to wait. They're willing to have patience with you while you deal with some sort of issue. While you're dealing with this facade and these boundaries that you have set up. This person is waiting, but they're not going to wait forever. This person is expecting a situation because if you wait too long this person is going to be in doubt that you really care about them this person is going to be in doubt that you are having the same intentions that they are and I feel like this is a fear that this person has underneath this is a worry that's kind of keeping them from being totally focused you know Okay, Spirit, now tell me about this connection. Tell me about this combined connection for Scorpio and the person. Tell me about this combined connection. For you, we have the hangman. So you're undecided. You are undecided, Scorpio. You know that this person makes you happy. You know that this person brings you a lot of joy. But you feel like you're sacrificing a lot. You feel like you may have to give up something in order to get this person's full heart. So I feel like that's the reason why you're setting up these boundaries. Like you're kind of holding back from the situation. For them, we have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like with the Seven of Wands and the, the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this person is very defensive at times. They feel like they're fighting a losing battle. They feel like they're putting in this work, this effort, like you're going to be alone forever. Like you aren't willing to fight like they're fighting like you're not willing to sacrifice as much. Maybe that's why you feel like this sacrifice is such a high price to pay. Because they feel like you're not putting in the same energy that they are. They, they don't feel very appreciated. They don't feel a very, a very worthy of the situation. These are hidden feelings, by the way. Okay. Scorpio, give us some more energy. The Ace, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles for you. So with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're waiting for some action you're waiting for something to be said that's going to catch your attention you're you're waiting for them to take action that is going to change your mind about the situation some some kind of thing that you're waiting for is going to make you drop your guard but i feel like you're waiting for them to do this you're waiting for them to say this particular thing before you even think about dropping your guard you know, um, for them, we have the Page of Wands. Wow, two pages. So you're both waiting. You're both waiting for this communication. For your person, they're waiting for you to fully accept them. To really accept how they feel. To really feel the intense emotions that they're feeling. You're both waiting. You're both waiting for each other to say something. To do something. You're waiting for this 
new beginning and I feel like it's very you know the pages are the most immature of the court cards so I feel like this is like you know don't get me wrong Scorpio but I feel like this is very immature thinking very very young acting you know you and this person may be very young expecting these expectations okay let's see oh for you you have temperance and you have the star so Scorpio you know, I feel like you're waiting for this person to say these things, to do these things, before you take action. And you're waiting for this healing, for this bright communication to happen. You know, um, the temperance comes before the death card. Well, it comes after the death card, excuse me. So it, it kind of picks up the pieces where the tower has collapsed, you know, has, you know, left this unwanted change. And temperance comes in to heal, to balance, to, you know, give self-control, harmony, and patience. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's what you're looking for now the star the star brings in new hope a feeling of newness you know inner clarity this is also having faith in your situation having faith in your person um but i feel like you're you're really waiting for this person to say something you're very hopeful you're wishing and hoping that this person comes through for you because I feel like you really want to be with this person, but you want to see that they're loyal. You want to see that they walk the walk and talk the talk, you know? For them, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like this person is believing. They're having faith. They may be imagining some sort of situation. They're, they're dreaming. And they're following this expectation that you're what their dreams are made of. Uh, you may, this may be them communicating. You have a lot of pages here, a lot of pages. You have three pages in the in this reading. So I feel like there's a lot of communication that needs to be said. There's a lot of things that are left unsaid. You know. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So this can be a beginning of something very special, something very valuable, something very new. Uh, like you're investing in this new situation with this person, you know. Um, so I feel like there's, there's a very good chance. Let's get some love cards for you and your person. Let's get some love cards for you and your person. For you, we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things come into light. Adapt, change, and heal. Exactly what I was feeling. For them, for them, we have the Grim Reaper. Wow. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's very unexpected. Wow. Um, you know, I, I feel like this person, the Grim Reaper is right next to the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this person if they can't get what they're looking for in you, I, you know, I'm just going to be blunt. I feel like this person is willing to move on. They're willing to just take this loss and just run. 
Um, but I, I feel like you're both waiting. But I feel like this person, they're getting kind of tired of waiting. They're they're getting tired of, kind of tired of feeling defensive about the situation, feeling like they're going solo. You know, um, they kind of feel like they're going it alone. Okay, we're going to take some more love cards for you and this person. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, ooh. Okay, we have emotions are natural and a necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, and we also have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay, that's for you, Scorpio. Now for your person. What do we have for your person? What do we have for your person? We have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on the past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So yeah, I feel like you're both going through healing. You're both going through this situation. You're just doing it in different ways. I feel like that's the reason why there's so many pages here. There's so many pages because you guys are kind of closed up a little bit. You're, you're not communicating the way you should. And you and this person are really trying to get the other to communicate. To focus on your needs. And we have new beginning. New adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah, so this person is focusing on a new beginning. They're focusing on something that can be real. You know, um, they really want to see you and interact with you. Um, but they're waiting on this communication. They're waiting on something to happen. Something very special. Okay, Scorpio, um, what does this person want to say? Daydreaming. Yeah, I feel like this person thinks about you. They think about you a lot. We saw that with this Page of Cups. You know, they have big dreams. A big imagination, you know. What does this person want to say? I miss you. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? It's complicated. Their situation is complicated. And defensive. Yeah, we saw that above here with the with the 7 of wands. And at the bottom we have waving a white flag. So they're kind of surrendering to you. They're kind of surrendering to you, Scorpio. Letting you know, you know, I'm I'm not your enemy. I want this as much as you do, you know. Um, but they're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for something to happen. And I feel like it's something big, something meaningful, something from your heart. But I feel like you're waiting for the same thing. Okay, Spirit, give me a message an outcome for this connection. Give me an outcome for this connection. The Queen of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom we have the King of Cups. Wow. Okay, and I feel like somewhere down the line you're going to have this communication. I feel like a lot of feelings are going to be exposed. A lot of truth is going to come out. I feel like you're able to communicate with this person about the healing that you're going through. And, 
and the healing that they're going through. You know, I feel like you're both going through this dynamic healing, this dynamic phase to where you are really scared to open up your heart. You're scared to open up your mouth and communicate. But I feel like with these two queens, I feel like the Queen of Swords is going to bring the truth, the communication, the, the intellectual thought. And the Queen of Pentacles is going to bring a lot of value, a lot of um, resources into this relationship. They're going to, it, it's going to bring a lot of value, focus, you know, um, loyalty, stability, longevity to this relationship. That's everything that the Queen of Pentacles represents, you know. Um, so, yeah, that is what I have, Scorpio. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if you enjoyed this reading please comment in the comment section if you like this spread and until the next reading scorpio many blessings to you love and light and the healing